Prior to passage, there were no public hearings about the bill's impact, and organizations that represent Hoosiers that are lower and middle income are worried that their interests were not considered and that they will not reap any benefits. Our TV6's Derek Thomas reports. On their blog, the Indiana Institute for Working Families says in the first year of the tax plan, the wealthiest 1% of Indiana earners will receive $48,840 in tax cuts, more than many Hoosier households earn in a year. Meanwhile, 60% of Indiana families will get cuts that average out to about $9 a week. The concern that we have is if this tax cut doesn't pay for itself, which we don't think it will, then how are we going to balance our budgets moving forward? And will the way we balance the budgets be to further cut programs that help low-income families? So then we'll have a situation where the lower tax quintiles don't get that much benefit, and then they actually get real pain later on when, and when services that they need are cut. That's what the Indiana Institute for Working Families thinks. We also talked to a business professor from the University of Indianapolis. The president was talking earlier about a postcard tax return. You know, th this is making things a lot more complex. So I don't think it'll generate that many more jobs. Uh, and that's one of the great for Americas that are being touted. Uh, I don't think many people will see that much of a benefit in their uh, paycheck that they can go out and spend the money and help the economy that way. Uh, I, I'm fairly negative on this on this act. The tax plan also jeopardizes access to health care for 245,000 Hoosiers by eliminating the Affordable Care Act individual mandate, cutting $519 million in Medicare funding for 2018 and causing an estimated $1,300 increase in marketplace premiums by 2019. Derek Thomas, RTV6. Here's one immediate impact from the tax reform law. Fifth Third Bank announced it will be increasing the minimum hourly wage to $15. Employees will also receive a one-time bonus of $1,000. Fifth Third has 1,000 employees in Indiana, 13,500 nationwide. But the University of Notre Dame says the new legislation will cost the university up to $9 million a year. The legislation calls for the university and other private colleges with at least $500,000 in endowment per student to pay a 1.4% annual tax on those earnings.